Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, I hope you're all well. This is Lifestyle Critic where we break down movies and TV shows into their core elements. And in this video we are going to be reviewing IT Chapter 2 which is the sequel slash second part to Stephen King's very famous novel IT and of course the movie franchise IT as well. This movie is set 27 years after the events of the first film. Now I'm just going to be really honest from the get go, I wasn't that impressed with this movie. I didn't really think it was that scary, if anything I thought it was more weird then terrifying. Now I like the concept of the loser kid members returning back home 27 years after the events of the first movie and after they've had their own separate lives. But I just thought the executional style used in this movie just was not that impressive and I'm going to be breaking down all of that for you in this movie review. So from a storyline point of view, like I said in the beginning, it's set 27 years after the event of the first movie and in this film, Mike is the last remaining Loser Club member to still live in Derry and he sees that IT has come back. He then calls all of the other Loser Club members and tells them that they need to complete their promise at the end of the first movie, which is that if IT ever came back, they would all come back to Derry and would kill him once and for all. The film then explores whether or not the Loser Club members can actually do this and has some really over the top horror attempts throughout this movie as well. Like I said, I really like the fact that all of the Loser Club members came back to Derry, kind of seeing what they got up to in the last 27 years, the flashbacks back to the past to see what their younger selves did during the first movie was really, really interesting. But I just thought that the ridiculousness of all of the horror attempts really detracted from this movie and unfortunately made the storyline not that great. So from a casting character's point of view, they have honestly got some of the casting bang on as they really do look like the older versions of the characters from the first movie, which is absolutely brilliant. So let's go through them one by one. So first up we have James McAvoy, who is now playing an older version of the Bill character, who is an author now and married, but he still is totally guilt-ridden for the death of his younger brother, the Georgie. We then have Jessica Chastain, who is playing an older version of the Beverly character, and it's really interesting as the younger actress did actually choose Jessica Chastain to play her older self and she really does embody all of the attributes from the character's younger version. We then have Jay Ryan who is now playing an older version of the Ben character and people really joke about the fact that this character looks so different to how he did as a younger character. He is really successful in his older self but he's just really really lonely and they also re-explore the relationship between Ben and Beverly. We then have James Ranzone who plays an older Eddie and this was honestly perfect casting. Literally looks exactly the same as the younger version of this character and acts in the exact same way. He totally embodies the hypochondriac attributes for this different character and although it's hilarious how the older version is now a risk analyst which is totally appropriate for what the younger character would have gone on to do in the future. We then have Isaiah Mustafa who plays the older version of the Mike character, the one that is the catalyst for bringing everyone back together and also knows about how to kill it once and for all. We then have Bill Hader playing an older version of the Richie character and hilariously this character went on to become a successful stand-up comedian which I thought was really hilarious as the younger version of this character was always trying to crack loads of jokes and then finally we have Bill Sazgard who plays IT slash Pennywise. Now he was really good in his portrayal, I just feel like all of the horror attributes, like I said before, really detracted from his performance but that being said he did do a good job in terms of bringing the Pennywise character to life so from a casting character's point of view overall they were pretty decent in this movie. So from a visuals point of view, conceptually, I do think IT Chapter 2 is quite strong in the sense that they've gone 27 years into the future, they do always refer back to the past, they have flashbacks, the casting is really, really great, and you really can see the transition between the younger versions of these characters to the older version. But like I said before, I did think that the horror aspect was just so over the top, really, really detracting, and was just not that impressive. And unfortunately, it just really took away from this movie and so from a visuals point of view, whilst it is really modern, I did think it was actually pretty disappointing in this movie. So from a comparison point of view, I just think there are so many better other horror movies out there. I mean, personally, I've never really been the biggest Stephen King fan and so I would put it, it chapter two and all of the other Stephen King work on the same level. Like I said, it's not as good as other horror movies out there. I mean, it did have some decent parts in there and wasn't an awful movie, I just didn't think it was for me and so from a comparison point of view overall, I just think it's not that great. 
So overall, like I said before, I was just not that impressed with It or It Chapter 2. I'm not that big of a Stephen King fan. However, if you're a big horror fan and you're a big Stephen King super fan, then definitely check it out. It just personally wasn't for me. Whilst it had a great cast, whilst it had some decent moments in then conceptually from a storyline point of view, it was interesting. Unfortunately, the horror execution I was just not that impressed with and so ultimately I have to give it a 3 out of 10. I'd love to hear what you think, so please let me know in the comment section below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in my next video.